Musical crafts, musical crafts, musical crafts with Miss Juliet. Musical crafts, musical crafts is an educational program. Welcome to Musical Crafts with Miss Juliet, where you learn a craft and a jingle after the craft is completed. Today, we are going to be listening to Ludwig van Beethoven. He's German. And the uh, song we'll be listening to is for Elise. His first concert that he ever did, he was eight years old. He's a masterpiece. He plays the piano. He's a, a composer, wrote many um, uh, types of uh, music. <clears throat> and um, this is one of them that he did make for Elise by Ludwig van Beethoven. Today we're going to be making the caterpillar. Now I have the butterflies here, but I'm gonna give you the stages of the, um, the butterfly and the caterpillar. That's why I have them both together because we're gonna do the caterpillar now and we'll do the butterfly later. Uh, the supplies you will need are tacky glue, moving eyes, I've got lots of moving eyes here, scissors, child scissors, wax, this is wax rope, this is for the antennas and for the legs, and then you're going to need some pom-poms, we're going to be using large pom-poms. And these are some of the caterpillars that we have here. So let me move them so I can demonstrate. <laughs> okay. I've got one large for the head. And then I've got seven balls for the body. I'm going to be giving you some information about the caterpillar uh, and there's so much to, to learn this is just some of what i'm going to tell you is just some of it but we um there's a lot more to learn about it so some of the things like for instance the caterpillar has four over four thousand muscles who would ever think a little uh a little animal like that would have or insect would have over 4,000 muscles. Do you know how many muscles the human has? Only 650. That's amazing. So anyway, that's uh, one uh, thing about the caterpillar. Now, let me demonstrate on how to do the, we're going to take, uh, we're gonna start with the small ones and we're gonna put a dot of glue a dot of glue okay and then we're going to attach one of the balls and we're going to hold it for a few seconds let's count to ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten let's add another dot and see i'm making a dot i want to make it large enough so it'll and then we'll get another color hold it for 10 seconds one two three four five six seven eight nine ten another information about the uh, caterpillar is the caterpillar likes to eat many leaves. It likes to eat until it becomes a, 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 a full grown adult. So, 
so it eats the leaves. Now the leaves that the eggs are laid on are the type of leaves that the caterpillar will be eating. And it, it eats and eats and eats and eats. Another thing um, interesting that I found about the caterpillar is it has six eyes, but it can't see. But it helps to differentiate the light from the dark. So, um, six eyes. Now it has, it also has six real legs. And the other legs that it has is, um, they call them fake legs. Um, so the first six legs in the front is considered the caterpillar's real legs. So, that's what it says. Now the caterpillar also can, um, to protect itself from, um, you know, anything that, that will try to harm them, it can make itself the color of, it can change its color. It can come make itself the color of that leaf. So I found that very interesting also. Now. This is your own imagination. You could use whatever colors you want. You can use all white. You can use all green. I'm just making it colorful because this one is my creation. So it can be whatever color you want it to be. So this is how I'm doing it. And this is the, the big caterpillar, okay? Okay, now, the what you need the wax for is for the, the legs. And I put the little, the legs on this little, the little one. This is a little one. Now, caterpillars come in, in different sizes. They come in a variety of different sizes, um, a variety of colors. So, um, so you can make it however big you want. So that, so therefore, the butterfly will also be in a variety of sizes as well. But, um, Anyway, the, the, the caterpillar, something else about the caterpillar is that they're called herbivores. Herbivores. Herbivores eat plants. So most of the caterpillars are herbivores. There are some that, are, um, that eat insects and they're called insectivores. Okay? So that's um, about the caterpillar. Now, for the, the legs, we that's why you need the scissors to cut the, the legs. All right, so you can cut Let me play one more time. Now I'd say you don't have to make them real long because what you when you cut it, you're gonna cut it in half. So maybe about half an inch long. So I put on here seven, seven balls. So what I'm gonna do is fold it in half, fold a little wax in half, and I'm gonna put a dot on it. Okay. And then I'm going to put it uh, in the middle. I'm going to set it in the middle. Setting it in. So it's like it's laying on his back and I'm setting it in the middle on top. In fact, I'm going to use one of these that's already dry. That's why I left it like that. See, it's already dry. Okay. It's on his back. Because I want to show you how to do the antennas and the face. Okay. So let's do that again. Put a little dot. Put it in the middle. And push it down. Okay. Put it in the middle and push it down. And 
and we're going to put seven of these on there. So the first, <laughs> the first six legs are the real legs, and the rest are the fake legs. <laughs> okay. Now. Now, we have to be careful. Uh, do not pick up any caterpillars because some of them are poisonous. I do have some of the names of the poison. Now, the most poisonous uh, caterpillar lives in South America. We live in North America. So, the most deadliest caterpillar lives in South America is called the giant silkworm moth. Okay, now the, the uh, caterpillars that are poisonous in the United States are called the pus caterpillar, the bush moth, buck moth, buck moth, B-U-C-K, buck moth caterpillar, gypsy moth, the letter I, letter O, I-O, moth, saddleback, and flannel moth. So we'd have to pull those up to see what the pictures look like, but I wouldn't take any chance at picking up, letting any of them crawl on me. So uh, some people are love insects and like for them to crawl on them, but I'm not one of them. I just like the fake caterpillars. <laughs> so, anyway, but these are the caterpillars that we're doing. And, um, but I, I, you know, found that most interesting that we, that, that we humans have 650 muscles and the caterpillar has over 4,000 and they're so small. Wow, that's amazing. Um, but they like to eat leaves. They like to eat leaves. So that's that's amazing too. That they just eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. They're always hungry. Caterpillars are always hungry. Now, the, the real name of the caterpillar is called the larva. I'm going to go through the stages of the caterpillar. The state, the caterpillar to the butterfly. The butterfly lays its egg on the leaves. The type of leaves that the caterpillar, when it comes out of the egg, will be eating. So the butterfly lays the eggs on the leaf. And once the caterpillar comes out, which is called the larva, that's the scientific name of the caterpillar, the larva. When the larva is born it comes out and it begins eating and eat and eat and eat and it's eating leaves continuously eating leaves okay so then once it becomes a, a full-grown uh, adult it um, makes a cocoon the scientific name is called a chrysalis and it's like a, a, a a, a, cocoon, a cocoon is uh, it wraps itself into is like a sack, puts itself in a sack, and it stays in there, and it be it's transformed from a caterpillar into a butterfly. But you can't bother it because it's um, transforming itself into a butterfly. But we know that God is doing all that work, transforming that that caterpillar into a butterfly. And when it's a fully grown butterfly, it breaks out of that cocoon and it will, it's, uh, the wings are folded. So it flaps his wings from two to four hours. It will flap his wings to get the blood circulating. Did you think that cat, that, that, that butterflies had blood in it? In, in it? I never thought about it, but it's alive it, and it has blood in its wings. So it flaps his wings 
from two to four hours and once it once that uh, it's complete it begins flying around to find a mate to start the process all over again so there you have it about the stages of the caterpillar now in order to now we're going to put the face we're going to put the face on the caterpillar let's put the eyes let's put the eyes here's the moving eyes I'm going to put two eyes now this is how I do it this is how I do it you can put a dot on the on the the um, on the uh, pom pom or you could put it on the eyes I put it on one eye and then I'll put the other eye on top to get some of that glue because it doesn't take that much and then I put it put the eyes there's the eyes two eyes then I make I cut a long piece for the antenna and fold it in half So then I put glue on that tip and stick it on the top of the head right in the middle. Right in the middle. And once it dries, I'll, you know, once it dries, you can spread out the uh, antennas. Then you're going to need a mouth. So I pre-cut some of these. For the mouth, then I, I'll try make it a smile, and I'll put glue on both of the ends, and then I will put it on underneath its mouth, eyes underneath its eyes, because that is the mouth. There, now it's smiling. There you have your caterpillar. There. All right, now let's do our caterpillar song. I am a caterpillar. I like to eat many leaves. I am a C A T E R. P-I-L-L-A-R I am a caterpillar I come in many sizes I am a C-A-T-E-R P-I-L-L-A-R I am a caterpillar I like to eat many leaves. I am a caterpillar. I come in many sizes. I am a C A T E R P I L L A R. I am a caterpillar. I like to eat many leaves. I am a C A T E R P I L L A R. I am a C A T E R P I L L A R. I am a caterpillar. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and ring the bell and you'll never miss any of the crafts. I can't wait to see you again or I hope you will be anxious to see me again and we'll be talking about the butterfly the next time. Musical crafts, musical crafts, musical crafts with Miss Juliet, musical crafts, Musical Crafts is an educational program. Always remember, I love you, God loves you, and always remember to say, thank you, Jesus. 
Until next time.